Hello VC and those of you watching this uh, video on YouTube, especially of those <laughs> of you that are in the uh, Facebook groups uh, Thrifty Music Collectors uh, and Listeners and the uh, group uh, Final Karma. I'm Tim. Uh, I know I made a, a video just last night that I had all the vinyl I'd be getting this week. Especially, Perry told me that he was sending me the last, the last time he talked to me around a week or so ago, told me that he was sending me the last of uh, the duplicates he has. Well, I thought that earlier this week with all that he sent me was, uh, all that was the last of it because I got the package two different days this week. I was wrong. Made that video last night. Today, left on my, uh, front steps another package from Perry there are 30 albums in it this video this one I'll show you uh, or I'm going to show you what all he sent me so now on with the flat this one's Jim Croce you don't mess around with Jim like he likes Jim Croce so do I that's one I don't have, so I was happy to see, uh, get that. Okay, the soundtrack to Hair. If I remember right, I have this one, so I'll probably be, could be comparing the two. Keep the one I like better for myself. If the other one's playable, I'll be sending it to somebody in VKLS. Next. Charlie Sexton, impressed. He doesn't ring a bell to me. This album's from 86, but I might have heard of him. I just don't realize it. Oh, looks like it's... Uh, let me check something here. Looking at the back, looks like it could be a 12-inch single. Yes, it is. A 12-inch single. single. I'll have to listen to that. Okay, Diana Ross, the boss. I like her music. I haven't heard it. I don't have this one or haven't heard it, but I'll have to check it out. I like her singing voice. Next one from these guys, Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. I don't have it on vinyl, so thank you, Perry. Okay. Scandal featuring Patty Smythe, uh, the uh, Warrior. Yes, this is one with the Warrior on it. I've been keeping an eye out for this one. I now I have it. Thank you, Perry. Another excellent Simon and Garfunkel one bookends. There's quite a few songs on this album that I like. It's the first time I have it on vinyl. Search Girl, Thurl Good and the Destroyers, uh, Back to the Bone. Another one I didn't have. This one, I have on cassette, now I have it on vinyl. I think this round completes all of my, uh, all of the hard albums I have through the 80s, and uh, all on vinyl. This one I have, I got when it first came out. Stevie Nicks, uh, Bill O'Donna, excellent album. This one I didn't have either. He's uh, been get, increasing my John Cougar Mellencamp collection. This is a, uh huh. And of course it has uh, Pink Houses, a 30 song, uh, 30. And the authority song on it. Okay, a movie soundtrack here. It's not the only one he put in here. This is uh, for uh, Star is Born with uh, Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. Can't remember whether I have this one or not. I'll have to check Gar Garfunkel Breakaway. I like his solo stuff. I might not. Don't, no, I don't think I had this one, so. I, I, my little town's around there. 
Here's one that I have a soundtrack, Eddie and the Cruisers. Of course, uh, the music done by John Caftrey and the Beaver Brown Band. The Marshall Tucker one that I didn't have before. It's just titled Marshall, the Marshall Tucker Band. Oh, wait, nope, it's uh, t titled Tenth. I looked down the spine. Oh, it's real small down here, too. One that I didn't have. Happiness is Dean Martin. This might be interesting for, to listen to. Of course, I've been getting into lounge music more lately, so that would probably fit in with that. One that I already had. REO. This is an excellent album also. I've seen REO, it's REO Speedwagon. I've seen them in concert a couple times. Looks like there's some water damage on the cover on here. This is Jim Croce. I got a name. I already have it. I think I might have this on uh, cassette. E2 uh, Under a Blood Red Sky. Of course, this is a live album, and it, I think it was, uh, if I remember right, it was done at Red Rocks in, uh, by Denver. I can't remember, though. I know I've been, No, I guess on the back it says Boston, uh, Massachusetts, 1983. Because, uh, there's groups that like to uh, start off tours like at Red Rocks, uh, which is, uh, I think it's a state park in Colorado near uh, Denver. I saw a concert there. I saw the Lower River Band, and the opening band was an 80 Grip Band before them. This was like in 83 that I saw them it put on a good show. Next up, someone else I've been collecting. I don't think I have this one. Joan Bias in Concert uh, Part 2. I think I have Part 1, so this will complete it for me. Another Fog Hat. I didn't have this one before. Energized. Okay, Backup Knee I didn't have. Uh, Desolation Angels, of course this is one with Rock and Roll Fantasy on it. Okay, here's one that I already have. Uh, this is uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive's uh, self-titled album. It's an excellent album. Okay. That's a uh, cover for me to uh, repair. Okay, another one I have, Ricky Lee Jones. Of course, this one has Chucky's In Love on it. Uh, the song that really got her, uh, the people all listening to her. Okay, one that I didn't have before and I don't think I've seen this one around. This is a uh, Hollies and yes uh, Grand Nash is in it uh, and it's called What Goes Around and uh, because I like the Hollies, I like their sound just seeing if this even has a date on it, I don't see one but because this, this cover seems like it's a newer one with the shape that it's in this one I can't remember whether I have it on vinyl or if I just have it on uh, tape, but it's uh, Robert Plant. Uh, uh, Principle of Moments. Okay, my first one by the Romantics. That this is uh, in, in Heat. This has a hit talking your sleep on it. I like that song. Okay, here's a group I've never heard of, but I'll be checking it out. It looks like it might be good. Uh, it's uh, Riot 
player down under. There's one that I have, and I saw this group on this uh, concert hurt. That's Heart, Dog, and Butterfly. That's excellent signs on it. And this last one is another one I have. I have a European pressing of it. You can tell it easily by the album cover because it get, gives dates of some uh, concerts on it. And uh, I've seen them in concert on this tour. It was like 1984 or 1985. I saw them in a concert at the Air Force Academy. They opened up for a quiet riot. The group is White Snake. The album Slide It In, a classic album by them. Well, thank you, Perry, for all these uh, albums. And I am, if you've seen my videos lately, you've noticed that I've gotten a lot of duplicates. So, what I'm doing, I'm going to be sorting through uh, my uh, albums sometime in uh, November, finding the ones I have duplicates of. Uh, and making sure they're both in, all of them are in playable condition and then I want to uh, send uh, send stuff out to my uh, subscribers and friends uh, so what I'd like you to do on or before November 30th send me a uh, uh, email to my account uh, tmax1959 at gmail.com and uh, I'll try getting uh, getting what you want sent to you I, or t tell me like what groups you like and stuff like that and if I have any dupes because a lot of you have watched my videos well, if, for any duplicates I find uh, I'll try matching them with uh, people on, uh, what people have listed uh, that for their likes. If I don't have any, I'll still send a little some a little surprise to you. So just uh, send me an email uh, at tmax1959 at gmail dot com, and also I'll need your uh, address also uh, for where where I need to mail it to. You. Well, that's all I have for this t for today. So until next time. Uh, Take it easy and keep on rocking.